Hi everyone and welcome to the first ever Lockdown Thursday. From now on until the end of the school year, every Thursday I will catch up with students to see what they are doing in quarantine and giving you five easy fun activities you can do within the confines of your own home. This week I caught up with senior San Conrad and junior Joel Heilman to see what they've been doing for the past five weeks. I am doing a lot of bike rides, walks, runs with my family. That way I can still get out, get active, but not be around other people. And then like staying inside, I am recording music, recording covers of me singing songs, things like that. I have been handling quarantine by eating lots of food and uh, I went back to the woods to make a random wooden stick fort, because why not? <laughs> I've been hanging out with my cat. That's another good one. Um, and then randomly drawing, even though I'm really bad at drawing. So that's another one. <laughs> Thanks, Sam and Joel. Now it's for what you've all been waiting for. Five fun activities you can do within the confines of your own home. To start, number one is plain and simple. It's going on a walk. You know, follow the CDC's recommendation of staying at least within six feet of other people, not including who you're walking with, like being your parents or your siblings or a dog. <laughs> Number two, if you have ac internet access in your own home, why not go on BuzzFeed and take some BuzzFeed quizzes? They're fun and easy to do. Number three, get two pieces of paper and two pens, one for yourself and one for someone else in your home. Find one object and see who can draw it the best within two minutes. As you can see, my brother and I, we picked a mini pinata and we drew it. And I think I won, but that's up to you guys. Number four, have a movie night. Make some popcorn, you know, get your favorite drink, grab a blanket, and pick your favorite movie. And lastly, number five, every week I'm gonna try to give you guys a new recipe that you can make with ingredients found around the house. This week I will be showing you guys how to make a cake in a mug. It only takes eight ingredients and about 15 minutes to make. You will need flour, sugar, cocoa powder, baking powder, salt, oil, milk, chocolate chips, vanilla extract, a mug, and measuring spoon. First add a fourth cup of flour and a fourth cup of white or brown sugar, depending on what you like best. Now add two tablespoons of cocoa powder and an eighth teaspoon of baking powder and an eighth teaspoon of salt. Now add three tablespoons of milk and two tablespoons of oil. The type of milk and type of oil are up to you. You will also need an eighth teaspoon of vanilla extract. Add chocolate chips to break up the bitterness from the cocoa powder. Now stir together your ingredients until it creates a smooth consistency. Put it in the microwave for a minute and 45 seconds. Once it is finished, be careful since it will be hot and add any sort of topping you'd like. As you can see here, I put chocolate icing or you can eat it plain. And there you go, one cake in a mug. If you have any ideas for activities or easy recipes that you would like to see me try, leave them in the comments below. And that's all for me. And remember, stay safe and wash your hands. Emma Seville, KCAT News.